Hi everyone, it's Kate from The Forward Line. I am back this week with The Sew Down. This is our monthly roundup of stuff that we've seen, read and listened to to keep you company while you're sewing. Um, I've got a lot of stuff to talk to you through, especially if you like podcasts. We've got some really good ones this month. Right, I am going to get cracking. So I've got a few things for you to read. Um, to start with, we've got this, um, I'm sure many of you guys heard about this in the news, but if you haven't, um, a couple of weeks ago, a pair of 19th century Levi jeans got sold in auction for $87,000. Yes, I know, isn't it crazy? Um, and there's an article so you, here that you can see what they look like and you can find out about the person who bought them, who's obviously extremely into denim. Um, it's a really great little article, so go and check it out. And it's really amazing seeing the Levi branding actually hasn't, the kind of label on the back of the trousers actually really hasn't changed that much um, at all. But um, yeah, go and have a look, because I thought it was really a fun article and wild that people spend that much. Um, next up on the reading front, Peppermint Magazine, which many of you will be familiar with, um, they have got their second E, like digital magazine called So and Tell. The second issue is out now. Um, I haven't bought it yet, but I bought the first one and it's really great. So if you're looking for something to keep you entertained, um, they've got loads of good articles. They have sort of DIY things in there um, and it's all really well and nicely produced. So if you're looking for something else to read, this is definitely worth going and having a look at. Another really lovely article, this is in The Guardian, about a guy who was 60 and a basically complete shopping obsessive and completely created a new career for himself, um, upcycling and changing clothes. It's really nice kind of read. Um, go and check it out because he's made some quite, he has made some quite wild things. He's kind of mix and matching different types of close together and kind of creating new stuff. Um, really interesting and sells in Portobello. So go and have a look at that. Um, stuff to watch. I've got a few things. I've got, how many things have I got? Three things to watch. The first one, if you haven't seen it yet, Inside, it's um, Trouble at Topshop. This is on the BBC. This is so great for any of us. You know, I'm sure many well, most of us at some point bought something from Topshop. Um, it runs through, I think there's two episodes, and they go through the whole history of Topshop, um, all the kind of, all about Philip Green, how he bought it, how he, how it all fell apart, um, and it's done by the people who worked there. So it's a really great documentary, and I felt very nostalgic and quite sad at the end of it because I love Topshop. So... Yeah, go and watch that if you haven't seen that. On the same sort of ilk as that, there's a programme on the, on, uh, what's it on? Channel 4. It's called Inside Shim, which if you haven't um, come across, I, until quite recently, I'd heard of the brand, but I hadn't, I didn't know much about it. And um, it's huge. It's a kind of massive corporate fast fashion brand and the interesting thing about it is that it's very hard every the kind of owners of the company and all their culture is all quite um it's all quite hidden and no one quite knows how it works and anyway they have a kind of deep dive into the factories and how everything's produced and it's pretty grisly watch so um yeah if you're interested in that sort sort of thing this is another good documentary Lastly, in the watching department, we've got something on Country File, which makes most of you are like, what? Really? Um, so this is on the BBC, and it's an episode called Field to Fashion. It's got Patrick Grant in it, and they're talking about this new movement that is growing in the UK, where they're trying to bring back production, um, you know, the whole of production of fabric within the UK, so that it's milled, made into fabric and then um, made into clothing all within the UK and they kind of look about look at how they do that it's really interesting I'm halfway through it and um, yeah it's a really good watch so I think you guys will enjoy it too so in terms of listening I've got um, 
a really really lovely podcast episode for you to listen to so um this is making stitches podcast and it's episode 30 so on the go with mary jane baxter and this is her being interviewed about her book so it's a kind of double 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 prong attack so this book is about her move it mary it gets a beautiful little vintage camper van and travels around Europe sewing and holding workshops and um, having this kind of magical adventure pre-Covid and it's the book, I'm, I've just downloaded it and I've started on it. It's really lovely. I think it feels like a real slice of <laughs> another life. Um, a few years ago where life was very very different and it's just quite nostalgic and the camper van and it's a really lovely story because it's not kind of it's about traveling and how hard and lonely that can be and people that she met on the way and the podcast is interviewing her about the book so go and have a listen to the podcast once you listen to the podcast which is what I did you will then want to buy the book um, so the book, yeah, it's called um, So On The Go, A Maker's Journey. It's a really nice book. I think it would make a fab actually present for someone. Um, and it's about her sort of sewing adventures, traveling around Europe in her beautiful kind of vintage camper van. So those are really nice kind of little twosome. In terms of reading, um, Rachel is reading this and told me to say that it's absolutely fantastic. So it's um many of you will have read the thursday murder club um by richard osmond which was like such a huge huge book i have read it this is the new one that has just come out and it's called the bullet that missed um i think it's the third one in the series it's really really great and she said it's amazing so if you read the third day thursday murder club or you haven't go get that and then you've got a trilogy of books to um, get stuck into so this is going to be great um, I've, I've actually just downloaded this to start so I'm quite excited about it right podcast now settle in the theme fast fashion is in seems to be absolutely everywhere at the moment obviously we're just talking about the Sheehan um, documentary so I thought this was an interesting so the dressed podcast has done an episode about fast fashion in the 1960s and um it's really fantastic and they were talking about i'm sure you heard you know that they had dresses that were made out of paper and it was probably the first instance of fast fashion and mass producing stuff so it was a well not mass producing but fast fashion that concept of getting stuff made and worn really quickly it's a really great episode so i would highly highly recommend going and listening to that um on the sort of fast fashion kind of ilk we got sent this by um someone and i have just started listening to it and it's really great so this is it's the podcast is called threads it's australian based and it's talking about fast fashion in america in australia sorry and i thought this was really interesting we buy on average 56 pieces of clothing per year and wear them an average of seven times before getting rid of them and then we purge 15 kilos of clothing every year is it that to me is completely and utterly wild um so that's more than a piece of clothing a week it's just absolutely nuts anyway i started listening to it. i'm the second on the second episode it's really fantastic there are three of them so far um but it's definitely worth having a listen to so the last in the fast fashion series of podcasts um this is doing it right with pandora sykes this um podcast is fantastic if you haven't heard it before I would highly, highly recommend it. Um, it's just, it's just great. She interview. It's like a weekly interview series, and she, each one has um, a topic, and she kind of does a deep dive into them. But this one is really, really fantastic. So it's the myths of fast fashion. The person that she interviews, she talks about overproduction, 
and it's a really fab episode and I think you guys will really love it so go and have a listen next up uh, this episode from love to sew which obviously is a podcast that we've spoken about a lot because it's completely sewing based but I really really loved this episode it's on the history of um sewing patterns and I almost don't want to say well I don't think it actually needs any more explanation than that go and have a listen because I just it's just so good it's so well researched it gives you the full shebang on it and you know how the technology's changed and what we think they think it's going to be like in the future and it's just it's a really great episode so go and have a listen next we've got check your thread um, which is another sewing based podcast and um, this episode with is with Lydia Higgelson who set up made my wardrobe um, I'm sure many of you will have heard her story if not I'm actually not going to tell you I think you should go and have a listen to it um, she wanted to have a massive change in her life after suffering a really horrific trauma and she decided to change make hand make every item in her wardrobe and it's a really lovely episode and they kind of do a deep dive into her sewing and it's yeah it's a really good one so go go have a listen to that one so next up we have got, I've got two more left the first one is a um not sewing related but the great indoors podcast for anyone who's interested in interiors interior design bit of DIY um, if you haven't come across this, it's a really fantastic podcast. It's got two interior designers and they talk about a topic each week and they also interview people as well. And the next kind of latest, I guess, drop of or series has just launched. So if you're doing up a room in your house, or you're thinking about having a change in your home, um, go and have a listen to The Great Indoors because it's really great last but not least this is from louise and i will fully admit that i haven't listened to this yet but anything that louise says is good in the true crime category is good trust me everything i've listened to true crime that she's recommended is fantastic and it's called um the podcast is called buried bones and um it dissects some of history's most dramatic true crime cases cases from centuries ago and um they explore the very old cases through a 21st century lens sounds like a really interesting kind of look at true crime and i reckon it'll be good so that's um on my list of things to listen next last but definitely not least on the podcast front i mentioned that the beautiful miss fit podcast was back um, with Mary Portis there's an episode with Jasper Conrad that is really amazing so if you haven't um, listened to her podcast this is a really good opportunity to start but this episode with Jasper Conrad was fab and definitely worth hearing about his family history I mean they're such an amazing fat creative kind of business family um, it's definitely worth having a listen um, just you know just to get all the interesting kind of gossip from their family um it's a really good one so definitely worth having it listened to that is it from me i hope that was good and we will be back next month with another update for you have a lovely weekend bye